Okay guys, so we're going to take a look at this screwdriver. Um, this is just kind of a quick overview um, of uh, the techniques that I used. And then um, we'll get more practice um, in class. So here's the low poly in two separate parts. And then we have a preview smoothed version. And then um, this is a low poly with the um, basic materials on it. There's a preview smooth version with basic materials on it. And then these are final smoothed versions. Just so you can um, see it from different angles in the um, render. So I'm going to shift select the low poly hold down the space bar go to display hide hide unselected and that'll just give me the low poly here I'm going to turn those guys off all right so I'm going to hit F to focus and we'll take a closer look at this. All right, so I'm gonna reconstruct this. Um, I am gonna let you guys figure out how the uh, tip was done, which if you look at it, it's just an inset there. Um, started with the same uh, cylinder shape and then extrudes multi-cut right here and also a bevel here on the, um, the edges um, but the main thing we want to look at is the body of the screwdriver so here's that I'm gonna go ahead and hide the the tip of the screwdriver. All right, so here's this. Um, I'm not really going to focus on the measurements so much. Um, just the basic techniques of how this was uh, put together. So we're going to start with a cylinder. I'm going to pull that out. Okay. So, easiest way to know that I'm going the right size is shift select the body of the cylinder. I'm going to go up to modify, align, and then I'm just going to center that. It's actually pretty close. Um, and then hit Q to get out of a line. Go up to my attribute editor, poly cylinder four. Change my radius and my height. So it lines up with uh, this main body a little bit easier. Okay. The screwdriver had six sides. If we look at there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we want to change that subdivisions to six and subdivision caps to two because we want a center hole here. So having that will help. All right. So now we have this. So like I said, I'm not going to make it exact exact to this one. We're focusing more on the technique that I used to make this and transition between this angular version and the 
angular edges here, hard edges to soft. So um, this tutorial is mostly about accomplishing those transitions, not um, replicating the exact measurements of this one. So if you have different input values, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so, all right. So I started this by looking at, we've got, you know, this shape up here, and then this divides off this uh, this section here. Um, needs to all be a uh, rounded cylinder. This needs to be angular. This needs to be rounded down here at the bottom. So I just start blocking out uh, shapes. So I can start with the top if I want to. And that scaling is not correct. Ah, uh, the symmetry was turned on. Now it'll be right. There we go. All right, so let's say I go maybe about there. And then I know I need to extrude this up. So we're going to go control E, extrude, keep faces together. And remember, you can either use the move manipulator or you can input the values over here. It doesn't really matter. So there's that. And then I'm going to select these faces again, hit control E, thickness to zero, and I'm going to adjust the offset, make sure the uh, keep faces together is on. And now I have that offset. So let's go with uh, 0.25. Maybe, maybe a point 0.4. There we go. All right. Now, if I hit Control E again, now what I want is to bring that down just a little. and also offset it at the same time. So I'm gonna go, let's say, uh, maybe that's a little too much. Maybe right about there. And then I'm gonna select these faces again and hit delete because I want that to be a whole for the um, the tip of the screwdriver to go into. Now, if I preview smooth that, it rounds everything off. The entire thing is rounded off right now, which is not what we want. But we will get to that. So the next thing I did was went to the modeling toolkit and multi-cut hold down control and I'm just going to section off where I want that um, split in the body there okay so we'll have the hard angular section here and here and the rounded section there and down here okay so you can either turn off multi-cut by hitting the button again or hitting Q. 
Now if I go back to face mode, remember right click, drag down to face, vertex, edge, object mode, whichever one you need. So, all right. I need to uh, set this bottom section up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those. Gonna scale it up a little bit. And then I will hit Control E, zero. Pull that down just a little to extrude it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scale it in just a little. And this bottom of the screwdriver is kind of dome-like. It has a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a rounded dome kind of shape to the bottom of it. So right now, if I smooth that, it's flat. It's not what we want. If we look at this one, it has a little bit of a, a dome to it. This one doesn't. So how do we do that? All you gotta do is select that bottom vertex just kind of bring it down a little bit. Ta -da. So now it has that little bit of a rounded edge to it, okay? And we'll tighten up these details um, as we go. So next step, we're gonna hit one, put it back in, um, low poly you switch between low poly and preview smooth using one and three by the way so all right i'm gonna left click select a face and then hold down shift and double click the next face which gives me um, the ring of faces keep faces together and yep so negative two works on the extrude or you can um, make it different however you want to do it all right now I'm going to kind of um, scale this in just a little bit there we go whoa hold on it did that all wrong Okay, there we go. We had a double extrude going on, which is never good. All right, now I should be able to scale that a little bit. What is going on there? Uh, something got twisted. Let's let's check these. Okay, those should be single faces. We're good. All right. So Control E, keep faces together. It was twisting in on itself, so 
make sure that that doesn't happen. So, all right. So now I should be able to scale that in just a little. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right. Be very careful of those double extrudes or extruding too far and ending up with double faces. It, it can cause a lot of problems later. All right. So once again, if I smooth it, it's still... Um, There's no hard edges yet. So that's what we want. Now, to get this division here of, uh, these guys, we're going to do that in a second. Now we'll get these, um, uh, angular pieces going. Um, now, how we're going to do that is I am going to shift select and double click all of these vertical um, all the edges right there okay and then we'll go to connect. Now, I don't want just one division, okay? I want two. So we're gonna add two segments over here. And then I'm adding this little detail right here. So right now, those are gonna be spread out way too far, okay? So we're gonna give it a pinch, say 1.5, and maybe a little bit more than that. Let's go, yep, that'll work. Okay, and remember, when using connect, multi-cut, et cetera, make sure your cursor is in the viewport and hit enter. Otherwise, those edges you just added will go away. So, all right, right now I have this, okay, which is fine. And you can see if I go in here, now it's starting to get more angular, but I still want this middle section and this top section and this very bottom section to not be angular. So how do I do that? All right, so here's how you do that. We are going to go to vertex, okay? And target weld. So you're just going to Click and drag to the center vertex on each of these loops up to where you want that transition to happen, okay? So if I go back to this one, You can see I want this section to be round and then it transitions from hard to soft here, right? So I have triangles. So I've welded those vertices along there to bring it into one. And then it transitions again here to here. So that's gonna be welded and then it transitions here, that's gonna be welded. So at those transition points, you wanna weld those together, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. So 
I'm going to go back to vertex mode, go to target weld, and dink. And make sure it doesn't do something crazy like that and weld a vertex where it doesn't belong. Always go towards the center to maintain that shape because otherwise your um, your shape is going to be all wrong so like if I did a preview smooth right right now you see how part of this shape is smooth going into angular so even if I wanted a shape like this, where, you know, part of it is an arc and the other part of it is angled, you can do that. So, let's go back to fixing up those vertex. And this is probably the longest part of the entire um, process, but this is how you get those hard to soft transitions um, in your objects working. So it takes a little bit, but this is also why um, I want you to keep your objects as low poly as possible for as long as possible because if you had thousands and thousands and thousands of polygons like that final smooth version, this would be an absolute nightmare to do. I mean this, yeah, it takes a while, but throw on some music and you kind of get it in a groove and you end up forgetting how long it's taking. So, so see there, we have our first hard to soft transition right there, okay? And then we're going to go to vertex mode. Target weld. Weld that one there. Weld that one there. Now see this, this one doesn't take as long because you're only doing a uh, You only have to weld three vertex uh, six times. So this one's not too bad. So you just click and drag, click and drag. Like I said, put some music on. And, uh, you know, you can kind of zone out. So, here you can see we've got the angular to the soft, back to the angular. Okay? Hard to soft transition. Not hard. Just, um, just takes time and planning. That's all. So, you're going to do the same thing. Uh, it doesn't like me. Sometimes you have to zoom in to actually get what you want. So. Or 
Remember, Control Z can be your friend. So there's that, that, that. Just remember, always go to the middle. Because then you're not disrupting that base shape. Unless you're going for a different shape, but you know. Every model is going to be different, but for this one, we want to maintain those base cylinders that we started with. So that should do it for the uh, there we go. So there's nice, hard to soft transitions right there okay now you could stop there if you really wanted to but I mean obviously that does not look as good as that so we're gonna take it a couple more steps further and it's super crazy easy okay so first we need to add in the um, these rounded lips there, okay? So select those six edges around there. We're gonna hit connect. Four segments. And we want them equal, okay? So that way you end up with one, two, three, four, five divisions there, okay? So when I hit enter right here, now I can go to face mode and I got that strip and that strip perfectly centered. I hit control E, keep the... Um, faces together let's give it maybe maybe a little bit more than that and then I'm gonna offset it uh, negative zero five ah. that's a little too much okay let's go There we go. Mm. There we go. So it kind of rounds it a little bit. Okay. Then when I hit three, now I have that. Okay. Super simple, easy peasy. All right. Now we're going to tighten up these details here in a second, but we're just working on the base form first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these. And these. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So control E. <sighs> we'll extrude it by point zero one five, maybe. Keep faces together. Okay, that wasn't far enough. So let's go point one. Maybe not so that point zero seven. Yep, there we go. That looks looks all right. And then we'll offset it point uh, zero five. All right. So now those 
are extruded. So if I smooth that now, now we have this, okay? Which is pretty good, but some of the details are still kind of smushy. So what we need to do is add um, controlling edge loops, basically, okay? So that's just using our buddy multi-cut, hold down control, and where you want nice tight edges, just add an extra loop. So I'm gonna tighten up some of these here. And then I wanna tighten it up around there. And there. Now you can add edge loops going this way, not just this way. But if you do that, you could end up creasing this and adding that hard edge back that we tried to get rid of by welding those vertices in. Here, I'll show you an example. So, Right now, that is nice and smooth and round. If I add a loop going that way, you see how now it got pointy and squishy right there? And that's not what we want. So don't do that. Um, all right, so got that. And then basically anywhere you want to tighten up these edges, you can just hold down control, click where you want them, and it will tighten up some of those um, details. So I'm going to add one there, add one there, I'm going to add one there, and I think I'm going to leave that one alone. So now when I go here, this one should look like that one. So there we go. So um, there's your um, body of your screwdriver. So the longest process in that whole thing is taking care of those um, vertex welds to get that transition between the hard and soft forms. Other than that, just basic extrude, connect, multi-cut, super simple. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, see you in class.